is Mr. Ishen Goma. Today we are going to look at bearing. Uh, before we start our class, you can um, subscribe to my channel and click to the bell so that you always receive my new videos first. Now, what is bearing? That's the first question to ask ourselves. Bearing is simply direction. However, as we are used to bear to direction using cardinal points, now bearing comes with a different idea. Bearing is a direction that concentrates on the angle. But this angle which we are using to represent direction must pass under the following condition number one this angle must start from the north and as you know north is always like up if you're having a book again this angle in order to obtain it we must move following the clockwise direction only clockwise so bearing in order to measure that specific angle which is wanted somebody must move clockwise to find the angle finally because in order to find the direction we must have two position for example a from b take note of the word from because the word from exactly tells you where you are standing in order to see the direction of the other. So in this case, A from B, it means we are standing at position B in order to see position A. Back to the angle. Also the angle has got some laws to follow. If you are doing bearing, the presentation of the angle, it must have three digits as a whole number. So if you measure or if you calculate the bearing and you get, for example, angle 60 degrees, you cannot write 60 because 60 will have two digits. You should always add zero in front to represent three digits but if the angle is already inside three digits that is okay but also sometimes we can get decimal point if you get two digits and if you get decimal points first of all add a zero and keep only one decimal place so if you have many decimal places round them off to one decimal place so this is how we have to follow the laws of bearing now we have two types of bearing we have bearing under a sketch remember sketch a sketch is a drawing without using scale but today we are going to look at scaled drawings so for us to do the scale drawing we need the help of this item here the protractor will help us a lot in measuring the angles for example we say it a from b is 70 degrees bearing so this means start at a Start at position B because A from B, then keep your north. Keep your north. Then you have to find the angle from north going clockwise that is 70 degrees. How shall we do it? We shall keep a protractor like that. Ah. Then this center should be at the center, and then at the north line, go and read where your zero is. 10, 
20 30 40 50 60 70 keep a mark at 70 then remove your protractor and draw your line it means this is the actual bearing of angle 70 and anywhere on this line we shall have the location of a this is what we do when we're dealing with bearing of scaled drawings now let's look at more practical questions question number one using a protractor measure the following bearing o from n it means i want to know the position of o when i'm standing at n so i go to n i keep my protractor at the corner there after keeping my protractor to the corner then i look at the zero value on the protractor i start measuring 10 20 30 40 50 after 50 i go two small boxes means 51 so my bearing will be so that is 52 because two small boxes each box is one so one and two so i will record as a bearing i will start with zero then 52 degrees when you look at question b again we shall start there when we measure from zero we shall see we are stopping at 127 so 127 is already in three digits so it is easy now we have this other question when you look at the angle which we are looking for you will notice that this angle is much bigger more than 180 degrees but when you check the tool we are using the maximum reading for it is only 180 so we can have two options number one we can draw and prolong this line down after prolonging we shall say this till there is 180 then we shall use a protractor to measure the remaining and then we add oh we shall keep our protractor on the opposite direction so that we can measure the unwanted angle first like what i'm doing now if i see zeros here 10 20 30 40 50 60 67 68 so this gives me 68 degrees meaning this part which is not wanted is 68 how do i get the part which is wanted i know the complete angle is 360 if i take away the angle which is not wanted then i will get two there border one two one nine here and two meaning the wanted angle will be 292 example number two draw the following bearings as we have said a good point we are given where to start so measure and draw the bearing a from b is 70. i put my protractor there as you can see it I measure from 0 till 70 I keep a mark at 70 I remove my protractor and I connect with a ruler hence the angle there will always be 70 and A will be anywhere along this line but B B from Q 220 remember 220 is more than 180 220 is more than 180 i can do two things i know from here till down is 180 then something has to be added on so if i get 220 minus 180 i will notice that i need to add 40. so if i need to add 40 i can just put my protractor this side here and i ensure that the top part is clear on the line yeah so if it is clear on the line it means from zero down because remember from here i go i go back here i get 180 then i add on 10 20 
30 and 40. So if I add 40, meaning now it will be 180 plus 40, I get my 220 degrees. Number three, measure the following bearings. B from A. It means I have to stand at A so that I can see B. So in order for me to see B, I have to move this angle here. So I get my protractor, I keep them, but unfortunately, it will be not easy for me to read because this line is shorter than the protractor. I can prolong the lines. Get your ruler, make sure it balances properly on the original line and make the lines longer. So that when you keep your protractor to measure, it can perfectly enter on the required values. So from zero, 60, 63, meaning the answer will be zero, 63 degrees. Roman two, A from B means I stand at B, I want to A, the angle will be this one there. So I know from here till down is automatically 180. Now I need to measure the remaining part here so that I add it together with 180. I keep my protractor properly on the north line, there. Then I measure this part, which I will start from zero down here. 30, 40, 50, 60, and 63. So meaning 180 plus 63, that gives me three, uh, six plus eight, it gives me four, and I add one to the two, two. So that's what I have at the angle. So let's go to the last part. Having known that the line is already short, I prolong it before I start. I measure D from C. I measure D when I'm standing at C, meaning I want this angle here. So I put my protractor properly. After putting, then I start from zero. 10, 20, 30. I prolong back here. That's 110, 115, 117 so my angle will be 117 degrees now another way to easily do this question if this is 117 and if this line and this line are parallel it means if you look at the alternate law even this other will be 117 meaning what C from B, it will be this angle, meaning 180, this part here, plus 117, giving me 7, 9, 2, 2, 9, 7. This is how we can properly measure all the scale drawings in bearing using our protractor. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.